peeps welcome back to another video um i hope you all been staying safe healthy and crafty i don't know if you've been getting a lot of rain like we have been getting i guess the storm is hitting us this weekend but just stay safe and if you can stay indoors stay indoors because rain is nothing to play with around here i guess flooded and stuff so I like being home when it rains because it's scary driving over water and stuff. But anyways, just be safe and careful out there. So today, um, I don't know if it's, you know, this hut is getting darker earlier and the sun is not up when you leave in the morning. It's the, you know, seasons are changing. So I was thinking why not just get started with some fall stuff. So the first thing I'm going to start with is making some candy. So we're going to make some <clears throat> candy corn. You see that? I mean, it's not like thick like candy corn, but who cares? It's candy corn, right? We're going to make a couple candy corn colored you know that using the colors of the candy corn to make a couple different styles of candy you can make we're gonna make some sticks you can use like in your fake drinks or to decorate a, a little house a haunted house or for whatever you want I'll show you how to make this lollipop yeah, I just stuck it on a toothpick, but you could use a regular, um, like, skewer or lollipop stick, whatever you want. This was just me making sure I had stuck something in it before it thawed out, um, thawed out dried up. Um, I'm going to show you how to make some of these little wrapped candies, right? And then I'm going to show you how to make some of these twists. Oops, you see the twisty ones? They like twist it. Like a twirl. And you can make these in any size. Like, see, I made them really tiny. So I could put them on like cupcakes or something. So we're going to do that. And then um, I'll show you some other things along the way. I'll show you how to make some pumpkins. You know those little candy pumpkins that come in a bag with the candy corn? Well, this is not exactly like it, but you get the point. And if you want, you can put a little face on it, right? You can make a little worm. But anyway, let's get started. So, you're going to need some model. This is model magic. I just took it out of the... Um, big bag and just put some in here you're gonna need a rolling pin you are going to need one of these clay cutter knives or you could use whatever you have you know a knife a blade whatever you have but I really like this little blade it comes in handy so the first thing we're gonna do most of this most of these candies all you gotta do is just roll it's nothing hard. You don't really have to measure it out. Don't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna just get some. A little bit of orange. Some white. And some yellow to start. You just need a little bit of green for the pumpkin. Other than that, these are the basic colors you are going to need we're going to start by making these the candy corn first okay so you got to make sure like i always tell you you really really now what i'm gonna show you here i'm gonna show you how to do it but you can make it as big as thin as you want like some of these like this is thicker than this you see it that's up to you. The more you roll, the thinner it gets. If you don't roll it that much and you want it thicker, then, then that's what you do. You know, that's up to you. 
you um make it to the thickness that you want for whatever you're going to be using it for and uh you know, if you're going to make lollipops, you're going to make whatever you're going to make is up to you. So let's stretch this. I'm going to let these touch because <laughs> once they touch, they become one. Some of this clay is just a little. I know some of the guys been telling me that you've been having a hard time finding Model Magic. Um, I have been too at my local stores. And... Um, Amazon has it, and honestly, it's cheaper than if you go to Joann's or Michael's because Joann has it for $24.99, and Michael's does too. So, right, you know what? I'm not going to use all of this. I'm just going to use, like, half because I don't want my candy corn to be too big. But you can make it, you know what? I do need some big pieces of candy corn, so let's. Let's just go with this. So candy corn. Candy corn is yellow on the bottom, orange in the middle, and white on top, right? Not that it matters in this point because once you start cutting it, some white is gonna be at the top and some white is gonna be at the bottom. You'll see what I'm talking about. It is according to the, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Going to the way you cut it. So, let me just cut this down. Save my little bit of yellow and my little bit of white. Okay. So, now what you're going to do is take your rolling pin and you're just going to roll it flat. Roll it flat. Right? You can even it out if you want. Like cut it to even it out. Oh, I put the white in the wrong. Okay, whatever. So then you're going to take your blade, right? And you're going to cut it this way. See that? You got a candy corn. Then you're going to take your blade and cut it the other way. Candy corn. Right? You're going to just keep doing the same thing over and over, Co. One way. Go back the other way. Go back this way. Move your blade the other way. You can uh, shape them and form them once after you cut them. What is up with my blade? You can always go back and shape them, so don't even worry about that right now. Just cut them. Got your candy corn. You can make this any size you want. If you want it to be smaller, you make this the roll smaller. Okay, this can, what is going on with this? It's acting up, girl, you know, because, you know, because I'm on film, so I got to act up. Just slide your blade like that, you'd be good. Get a good cut. Slide the blade, it cuts. You just can't let the candy corn touch the other part, because then it want to stick to the candy corn. Okay, you're coming down to the wire. And there you go. Candy corn. <clears throat>
candy corn. Candy corn. You see what I'm saying? When you, depending on the way you cut, you might have some white on the bottom or you might have it at the top. It doesn't matter. It's candy corn. So you could just take them if you don't like the way the shape they look, reshape them. Help them out. It's clay. You can form it, shape it. It's, I mean, it's fixable. So there you go. You got your candy corn. Candy corn. Let's get this one. See this? See, this is what I'm talking about. Don't let them touch. They will stick. Candy corn. Okay? So let's move these over here. I didn't get my parchment paper. I don't like leaving them down flat because... <coughs> Yo, make sure you get your parchment paper. You don't want them to stick after all the hard work you did. No. We do not want them to stick. Just let them dry. And you can use them in your treats. Right? See, that one already started sticking to the, um, we don't want that. Because we work too hard for this candy corn. Not really, but <laughs> we just don't want it to go to waste by sticking and deforming. Right? So that's why you make sure you put them to dry on your parchment paper. That way they won't stick. And when they dry and good, you can use them on your treats. I needed some big candy corn, so this is perfect. Just put them down. Shape them when you put them down. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next candy. So again, you got, oh shoot, I stuck some of the, um, now make sure you, you got to manipulate and massage and do all that good stuff to your clay once more, right? I'm going to need some more. We're going to do the twist. The twist is pretty easy. Or we can make the candy. Hold on, let me get a shield. Let's make this. Let's make these so you can see how easy these are. So what you're going to do, I'm just going to take you a little ball of white again you make whatever size you want and some orange you just stick them together right and just gonna roll it roll it smash the ends down so you can make a little square and just keep rolling until they come together like that. I mean, you could even use these for gummy worms or something, you know what I mean? Don't have to be wrapped up. I just thought it'd be a cute wrap candy, you know? If you don't want it this long, just um, use less clay. So you take your little cellophane, I'll have it recut. You get a large roll of this at Dollar Tree. But I have bought these already pre-cut. Only because it makes my crafting life easier. Ouch. I cut myself. Let's see. Can I fit this on? No, because it's kind of it's too long. 
So, I'm going to have to cut this down a little bit. So, you stick your candy in there. And you just roll it. Right? But let the, let the candy dry first. I'm just showing you because, you know, we on tape. But And then you wrap it. And it's going to look like this. But let this candy dry first before you start rolling it. Because if you don't, look, how it's, look what's going to happen to it. You have to leave, you know, make it and leave it. Let it dry. Leave it there like that. Then you wrap it in about a day or two. Let it get firm. That's what I'm saying. So now, let's move on to uh, the twist. Because the um, the other one's going to take a minute. I got to get some more Model Magic. Okay, let's move this to the back. So you get your Model Magic and you roll again. Right? Like, remember what I said. You, you, as much clay as you use, that's how big you're going to... How big your um your candy is gonna come out, your twist and stuff. Right? And you roll your orange. And a twist is just that. It's a twist. You're just gonna twist it. That's it. So you put the white on the top. And you put your orange. Right? So you got your three strips together and all you're gonna do is this twist 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 you see that see it's coming together just twist once you twist you roll and look it's a twist I mean it kind of looks like this, but it's different because when you do the twist, you see the define the lines. When you do this, they blend together. I'll show you that next. So you can make the candy as big, as little as you want. So now this too, you can cut it while it's still soft. I, I don't, I like to let it uh, sit for a minute. And then I cut it. I'm going to cut some of this off because I'm going to show you another candy. So, I mean, you can keep twisting it if you want. But see the lines in the twist? That's what makes it a twist. So you can cut if you want or not. That's up to you. I usually let it sit because it's still going to be soft enough to... To cut tomorrow but if you want to you can cut it but what I do is this when you're cutting it you rolling it so you get that nice cut right you if you want you can make the bottom flat or if you don't you can just make it do however you want but that's the twist okay so we got the twist and then like with your leftovers, you can make candies like this. I made little round candies. Where did I put that piece of, um, and you could, um, wrap it up like a candy. Put it in a piece of cellophane. Just fold it and wrap it. And now you got a different kind of style of candy. Right? So don't throw out your extra pieces like, you know, you are gonna might have a little couple of extra pieces left over. Don't throw that out. You can make candy, right? So we're gonna do the one you guys, I'm sure, have been waiting for because this is how you make candy canes too. So my base is gonna be this bit, this white. The white is gonna be my base. So you're gonna need... Whatever your base is, you're going to need more, a thick piece of that compared to the other pieces, okay? So, you want to make sure 
again massage that model magic okay now this is going to be your base so you want it to be thick and then you're going to get your yellow and your orange and you're going to make like four thin strips so massage your model magic because if you don't massage it it's going to crack so make sure you massage it really good right take it break it in half you need to break it into two pieces yeah i, I had to think about that <laughs> for a minute because we're going to use two pieces of orange right you're going to put a piece on that side and you'll roll this piece I don't even really measure anything. I'm just, well, this is kind of thick, so I'm gonna take a little piece off. But, and when you roll your snake, move your hand from this way to that way. So it could be a nice, even piece of snake, not one part is thin, one part is thick. So you put the yellow on the other side, right? Now you're gonna take your orange, massage it, massage it. God, I need a massage. The way I be massaging this clay. Yes. Oh, well. So you take it and you roll it. Remember? Roll it even. And you're going to take it and you're going to put it on top. And then you're going to flip it over. And you're going to put another piece of orange on here. doesn't have to be perfect so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this the same way you roll the snake you're gonna roll this and as you roll in you're gonna start twisting see that you're gonna start twisting and that's how you're going to get, I did a, this is kind of, <laughs> I'm going to have a lot. You roll, you twist. You see how it's starting to get? You roll, you twist. As you roll, you twist. You roll, you twist. Just keep on twisting until you get that nice twist and you keep on rolling this is i used a lot of clay so this is this could make i mean you could i could cut this in half right now make a nice big lollipop which i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna cut this in half and then you could continue rolling and you can make little sticks candy sticks Whatever you want, right? Let's cut this so I can show you what I'm talking about. Let's cut it in half, right? So you take it. You see how nice and twisted it is? I could keep on twisting. As long as you keep messing with the Model Magic and massaging it and doing it, it's going to stay. It's not going to crack. But as soon as you leave it alone, and the air start hitting it, it's going to start cracking. So I'm going to cut this end off. And you take it. Oopsie. And you're going to twist it in like this. Right? And then you're just going to keep on twisting. Twirling, twirling. I, I want you to see what I'm doing. Just spin it like that. Spin it. Twirl. And look. Now you have a lollipop. I'm using a skewer because that's what I have right now. And you stick, lay it flat. Then you stick your skewer and make sure it goes up, not hitting the back. It's going to stick out to the back. And now you have a lollipop, right? 
So if you keep on rolling this and twisting it, you can make all kinds of things. Well, not really all kinds of things, but you can also take this, cut a piece, and make put it in here like a candy, wrap it. You can do that. Like, I'm going to take a piece right here real quick. Put it to the side. I have some right here. I could wrap for you guys. You see this? This is hard already. I had made this like about a week ago. So it's hard. It's not going to change its shape. It's good. You can't do it when you freshly make it because it'll change its shape. And we, we don't want that. Wrap it, twist, and you twist the other end, and now you got candy. So you can make two kinds of candy, right? Put in your little fake pumpkin and your little fake candy dish. So let's keep on rolling, and we're going to make some sticks like these. You can use in your fake drinks, in your cupcakes, in your fake cupcakes. All you do is keep rolling. Keep rolling. It's going to get thinner and thinner. You could keep twisting if you want to make it more defined, make the twist more defined. Just keep twisting. Sometimes it's not going to be perfect, but it's good enough. Look, look how nice that looks. You keep twisting and twisting. So I'm going to cut these because I want to make these some sticks because I'm going to make me some, some drinks. You can cut the ends off if the ends are not pretty, which they usually not. And you make your sticks as long as you want them to be. I want them to be a little long. So I'm going to cut them about the same size. Now don't let these things stick. Now make sure when you put it down that the stick is straight. Make sure you you make the ends nice and flat. If you want, you could just hit them on the bottom. And then I'm going to cut this one. Do I want to make some candy? I'm going to make some candy out of these. And these are going to be wrapped in cellophane to put in my candy dish or whatever I want. Right? So now we don't let them touch. <laughs> this is model magic. Because if they touch while they're still soft and wet, you know, moist, it's not going to be good. So we already made three candies. We made the candy corn. We made the twist. I'm sorry. We made four candies. Oh, see what I'm talking about? If they touch. <laughs> so don't let them touch. If you can, keep them separated. So we did the candy corn, the twist, the Halloween candy cane. We made this, which I made too big, but you can make it smaller. But I was just trying to show you. Right? So that's four things we did right there. I'm gonna, now I'm going to show you how to make pumpkins. So you get your orange, you're going to need a toothpick. If you want it to look like the candy that comes with the candy corn, you know, them pumpkins that come in the candy corn, you see that in the middle, I put a round piece of um, green, because that's how the one that comes in the bag looks. It has like a round piece of green on it and then you put the stem on top so first let's just start with the pumpkin because the, we could put the green on after it's gonna stick it's model magic model magic sticks to everything <laughs> well not everything but really well to itself so you're gonna roll the ball 
right? And you're gonna take, try to flatten the bottom a little bit. You're gonna take your toothpick and you're gonna make lines. You're just gonna go like this, you see that? And then you're gonna go on the other side and you're gonna make another line. Then you're gonna go on the other, the middle of the other side and you're gonna make a line. Just gonna use your toothpick to make those lines. I don't know if you can see it that good, but you're just gonna keep going and you go in between everything and make another line. And then you have a pumpkin, you see that? Right? Okay, smash it down. Now we're gonna get some green. You don't need a lot of green, you just need a little bit of green. First thing you're gonna do is make a ball. Smash it down when you make your ball and put it on top. Right? And you're just gonna go wherever you made the indent with the line and you're gonna go because the ones that come in the candy bag, they have that indent. So you just wanna go and follow the lines that are already there, right? Get you another little piece and you're just gonna make a stem. Just roll it. You don't need a really big piece, but if you wanna like, See that? It's just a little stem. Look. Just a little stem. Right? And you stick it onto your pumpkin. And there you go. You have a cute little pumpkin. You can make them as big or as small as you want. I made this kind of big so you can see what I was doing. Right? And then you let that dry. And if you wanted to, you get you a marker. Let's see if this marker is kind of big, but, or paint, whatever you want. And you draw his face on there. One thing about a pumpkin, right? Their faces are easy to do. See that? He's just drawing squares, right? Only thing that gets me is the mouth. Ooh. I hate doing the mouth part. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm really bad. But anyways, that's, you know, you can make, if you wanted to put a face on it, you can. But you got to let it dry first. Everything here, you have to let it dry real good before you decide you want to use it for something. Because it easily loses its shape while it's still soft and moist so you we don't want that because we work hard for this so let's recap we made some candy corn right cute candy corn easy candy corn because i know sometimes those um fake resin candy corns they're expensive like can't be affording all of that. We made, uh, I call it a Halloween candy cane, right? We made some candy, and you can put this as a candy too, right? We made some pumpkins. Oops. Right, got your pumpkins. What else we made? I'll show you how to get this lollipop going. Right, I need to put it over here on top of this because um, it was sticking to the thing. And I think, oh, we made this one too. Where is it at? Like you could take your leftover candy. I'll show you real quick. If you have some leftovers, like you cut the ends off or anything, don't mix it too much. Just roll it in a ball. Just roll it in a ball. Hold on. Let me move this out the way. Just roll it in a ball and smash it down. Smash it down. And look how pretty 
that's pretty you have some can i don't really like that side but i like that side and once it's dry you wrap it in your cellophane and you have some more candy to put in your dish right that's what i mean how many we did i'll show you the lollipop that's one the corn two uh these three right I showed you the twist for the twist because you can see the defined lines in the twist. Candy cane, five. And this candy, six. And the pumpkins. Let's put the pumpkins over here, which is seven. Like, like with these three colors, except for a little bit of green. You make all these different types of candy. I mean, I think it's cute. This would be cute for a whole. You can make a candy dish with just these candy. And the thing about it is, you don't have to just use these colors. I mean, you can use whatever color you want. You want to add some black, or you want to add some purple. Um, remember, you can make your candy canes like this, um, which we're probably gonna do again as it gets closer to the season but your lollipops you don't have to use these colors you can make them in any color you want i just showed you how to do the basic i try to do it as easy as possible there's a couple of um tutorials online and they're a little bit more complicated but you know me i'm always trying to find an easy way so you guys can just do it without having too much trouble and um yeah that's it whoops <laughs> i guess the model magic is sticking to me so i put mine in a little jar once they're dry you can put them in a little jar and you know what you could turn this into a, a, a like i was telling you a worm you see that just twist it up it becomes a worm you put some eyes on it you take your um you take your um you take your toothpick and put some eyes in him. Boom. And look. You see that? I don't know if you can see his eyes, because you know the camera acting crazy, but you see his eyes? Now he's a snake. And if you want, you could just add lines with a toothpick. Boom. Boom. Watch this. Now you got you a worm. Okay, look. Oh, you can really see those lines. Oh, I hate this camera sometimes. Let's see. I don't know. You can see the lines now. You see, you got yourself a worm. That's it. Just put them to the side. He a worm now. So what? You got a whole, like, eight different candies you could make right there with just yellow, orange, and white. All these different Halloween candies you could make. I mean, your candy dish should be filled with fake candy. Not everybody's going to be happy about that. I'm sure you will once you make all of these and all you need is like a bag of yellow a bag of orange a bag of white model magic you could buy the small bag it's like i don't know half an ounce or whatever they cost like five dollars but if you don't want to do that you could buy you some white model magic and just paint it yellow orange with acrylic paint just add a little bit of acrylic paint to it and just change up that color. It's up to you. I mean, I know some of us can't, you know, be buying all this. Model Magic is not the cheapest thing, but it is, um, you know, it's what we have to make these crafts. Unless you make your own homemade clay, then I wish I was that good. I tried making clay. It didn't turn out good, so I just, like, I, I'm going to just have to buy it. <laughs> but anyway, guys.
I know I be rambling sometimes, but I'll just be trying to give y'all ideas on how to, you know, make clay or get the clay. Like I said, Amazon is pretty cheap, especially now that um, a lot of the craft stores don't have those coupons anymore. Like Hobby Lobby doesn't have the coupons. Michaels rarely puts a 50% off coupon out. Um, they do have a 20% out. And um, who else? I think that's it, right? Joann's, every once in a while, they're pretty good. They put 50% out off coupons, but they don't, my Joann's don't really be having a lot of model magic. So it's hard for me to get it. So I just order it on Amazon because they have it. They ship it to me. I don't have to go get it. And it's convenient, you know? And sometimes their prices are cheaper like I said, then in the store. So, those are some options. But anyway, guys, like I said, <laughs> here I go. Keep talking, talking, talking. Sorry. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to see what y'all make with y'all little candy corn on your cupcakes. Candy corn on your fake drinks. Remember to let this dry pretty well leave it only thing i suggest is like every once in a while flip it over so the other direct other side could get some air but other than that leave it alone for a couple days even a week just leave it alone let it firm up that way it won't lose its shape okay and once um these once they firm up you can still cut them with a with um with a blade or whatever i suggest you use a blade because if you try to use a knife, it might smush it down and stuff. We don't want that. But I'm going to put a link to this blade and to the Model Magic in the description box. In case anybody wants to just get it from Amazon. Alright? So, guys, until the next video, I hope y'all stay safe, healthy, and crafty. And God bless you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye.